Okay. All right, welcome to Tai Tai Takeaways with John and Brandy. And we're excited to be here. We had a great, great day at church this weekend. And uh, just excited about the weekend. It's Christmas season. There's lights. The most wonderful time of the yes, year. Yes, right? there's lights everywhere. There's decorations. Our house has decorations. There's there's a few gifts under the tree. I saw one with my name. Two tiny little gift bags, and they're both for you. Yes, so. I'm uh, trying to do good. Most years, he didn't get a gift at all, so I'm trying yeah. to actually get him a gift. Yes, yes. so this will be our uh, 19th Christmas uh, married. Our 19th Christmas married. Okay, yeah. yes. So our so, 20th Christmas together. Fun. Yeah, so. Fun. Yeah. So we have two giveaways, two advent calendars. These, you know, you can open up the little chocolate on each day of December. I know we're already into December, but it's okay. You can eat extra yeah. for days one through ten or whatever. So these, um, you can use yourself or you can give it to one of your grandkids or children. Or I mean, I love chocolate as an adult, like for real. Um, and so the first question, so the first person to comment the meanings of the three advent candles that we've already lit that we've church. already lit beryl said it this morning uh well we're filming this sunday yes. so sunday morning beryl said the three meanings of the advent calendars be the first to comment you'll get a chocolate advent calendar the second giveaway goes to the first person to comment your favorite christmas food favorite christmas food or what's drink. your favorite christmas food um i love well food or drink what is it because i love that homemade apple cider the hot apple cider or wassail wassail whatever that you yeah. mix with the cloves and cinnamon and oranges yes cut up like the skin of it. Yes. that's my favorite drink so well thank you for asking what yes. mine is what Hot, I mean, hot, my favorite, coffee, black coffee. Well, my duh. favorite Christmas food is fruitcake. You and your mama. I love fruitcake. Oh, my goodness. But. Are you eating it? No, I'm not eating it this year, so. All right. So, I loved how you said, let's look at behind the scenes of Christmas mm. Day. You know, he's doing the More Than a Carpenter series, The Power Over Satan. So, um, God cares about you as a person, not just your performance. Yeah. And you're valuable because you're made in the image of God. Mm -hmm. um, Jesus wants you to know Him today. Eternal life is not a place or position or condition. Eternal life is that we may know Him. Yeah, John 17, 3. His call is to be, not to do. There's mm -hmm. a battle between the being and the doing. Yes, absolutely. Um, yes. And, and that, a lot of people do so they can be. They get it backwards, They get it backwards. Right? Like, if I do this, this, and this, I can be a Christian, right? Or if I do this, this, and this, I can be saved. But the Christian message is you are. You are the be. You are a Christian. You are saved. Who you are in Christ. And what you do flows out of who you are. And your love for Him. Yes. The Christ not, love compels not, us. Not backwards, that's right. Yes, because He lives in us, mm. He compels us to go and serve yes, Him. Yes, that's and right. Do. Um, but yeah, you can't get it backwards mm -hmm. or else you'll go to hell if you don't know Him. That's right? right. Knowing Jesus is the heart of Christmas. And how do we know Him? Prayer and the Word of God. Yes. Simple. Simple. I thought of that song, The Birds in the Air Know Their Creator. I know Him. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. Yeah. But best of all, he knows me. But best I love of all, he you knows know that song? me. I love that yes, song. Yes, a youth choir song. Yes. So it's not social security, it's savior <laughs> security. That wasn't planned. Go watch the sermon if yeah. you missed it. Yeah, that was That was not planned, but it was funny. Yeah, that was It was, was funny. Yeah. We're saved not to sit, but to be sent. Yes. And we're better together. People are messy, but we're better yes. together, yeah. right? And I like that point, if you couldn't tell <laughs> yeah. when I preach that, because, you know, it's amazing how fickle people are. You know, like, people want to be your friend, but then they get to know you, and they start gossiping about you and criticize you and go find somebody else, and then they gossip and criticize about that person. And people destroy a lot of, churches and relationships because they don't understand that principle. It sounds so simple that people are messy, but like if you don't understand that principle, like you're never going to stay. Like you're never going to stay in relationships. You're never going to stay in a church. You're never going to stay at a job because when it gets sticky and messy, 
people just leave. They just bail out. They're like, I didn't sign up for this. It's hard to do the work of humbling ourselves, going and saying, I'm sorry, I shouldn't yeah. have done this. Please forgive me, yes. and then making amends. Um, Jesus sent them out with purpose, partners, and provision. Yes. Um, I'll meet your needs if you stay on mission. God mm -hmm. will meet your needs if you stay on mission. You said Jesus is enough. Yeah. Um, he's enough. Debate and discussion can't change the heart. It's the gospel that's the yeah. dynamite of the soul yes. that changes. Because the Bible says we overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word, the word of, of our, our testimony. testimony. Not lifestyle evangelism, but actually yeah. using your words to share the gospel. Yeah. And you shared a good testimony about that. Yeah. If you, I don't know if you want to tell that part of the testimony or not, but it was powerful. Yeah, which powerful. testimony? Powerful. The, the drugs part. The word of your testimony. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. when the freedom from that's right. sin came. Yes, changed. absolutely. And there's nothing wrong. Like, we need to live a lifestyle that would bring glory to God. And we need to, you know, demonstrate the fruit of the Spirit. But that is not what saves people. That... Right, just smiling and being nice yes. isn't going to save no, somebody. No, <laughs> it's the Word. It's the Gospel and the Word of our testimony, giving verbal testimony. And saying, do you want to be saved? Yes, that's you exactly know? right. Inviting people yeah. into that relationship with Jesus. Yes. And, you know, yes. I think a, the testimony, the Word of our testimony of what Jesus, you know, and it was it's simple. This is who I was. And I tried to use, like, illustrations of, this morning, church people, church people you know, because when I yeah. use my testimony, sometimes it doesn't connect with mm -hmm. maybe somebody that's been in church their whole life that doesn't share their testimony because they don't think they have a testimony. Mm -hmm. But everyone that's saved has some moment where they realize they, they needed, needed to be Jesus. saved. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's powerful. And, may, and yes. it may not be a mm -hmm. super big moment yeah. from yeah. what everyone else feels like, like, your testimony is way bigger than what someone else may have, but yes. they're two different testimonies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some people relate to each of them differently. That's right. That's exactly right. And you, the last thing I had written down was the marching orders are still to tell the world about Jesus. Go and make disciples yeah. of all nations. You know, and it seems... Baptizing them. Yes. Right? And it seems so redundant. <laughs> like, even when I was saying that this morning, you know, in the message... It just sounds so redundant. Go tell the world about Jesus. Go, like it is. It is every Sunday's mission to tell the church, tell people about Jesus. Right. But that is still Jesus said, "I came to seek and save that which is the lost." lost. Simple. And He said, "You're yeah. the light and salt of the world. Be the light and salt of the world." Mm -hmm. I mean, that is still the marching order. It is still tell one more person about Jesus. And I know it's not a new message. I know it's not fresh. I know it seems boring to hear the same thing over and over again, but y'all, Jesus is going to rapture the church out of here soon. And there's, I have a sermon, I'm not preached it here, it's called What You Can't Do in Heaven. And one of those things is evangelism. You can no longer tell, you'll never tell anyone else again for eternity about Jesus. We only have while we we're only, living on the earth. That's right. That's exactly Lord, right. Lord, help us to make the most of it. Absolutely. I, I know I should do it more. Me too. Yes. Well, thank you all for tuning in. It's shorter today. Yes. Um, but don't forget to comment what below. Are the, what are the first three Advent candles we've done? And what is your favorite Christmas food or, or drink. drink? So the God first bless two you. people to comment will have be Have a prize. great week. We'll see you Wednesday night. Happy Holy Days. Yes. And Merry Christmas. Uh,